All right, Mark in the minivan back with a new camera. I got a new job. It's been crazy. I'm sorry I haven't been in touch, guys. Miss you guys. <laughs> Just uh, I having trouble keeping my head above water because I got this new job and uh, I thought they were going to be giving me like 30 to 40 hours a week, but it's been more like 45 and hopefully that'll change soon. Look who's here. Pearly. Hey, Pearl. Pearl has been growing. We're on our way to the dog park. I don't know. I'm trying to get this up higher. The, uh, it's a new phone. Yeah. So there we go. All right. The car is a mess. Sorry. The, just don't chew the kids' toys. Um, Grant's pug mask right here. Oh, hey. Uh, yeah. So pretty, pretty sad news about Frankie Benelli. I mean, we kind of knew something was up, right? He's been missing, missing shows. Man, what a great drummer. I always thought he had a. a especially on those like first two Quiet Riot records, that drum sound I just loved. Um, man, listen to Condition Critical, the, the song. I mean, God, it's like John Bonham, man. And it's, it's, wow, uh, Frankie Benelli, what a great drummer. Not to mention what, Money Money, I don't know. Some people say Mooney Mooney, Money Money, but whatever the Billy Idol song cover that Billy Idol did, that's Frankie Benelli on drums on that too. So man, what a, what a great player. So much great stuff from this guy through the years, and I really hope uh, you know we can we can see Frankie again. It sounds like he's going to be doing this show in LA at the Whiskey. So uh, yeah, big uh, props to Frankie Benelli. I, I was sad James Durbin left the band; thought he was great, but um, listen, uh, Frankie's got more serious stuff on his plate. So we hope that he's able to. Uh, stay with us for many years to come and keep delivering us great music and i just want to say that he's always been a big figure in my life as far as my rock heroes go we've had him on the podcast numerous times i think even right on this youtube page i think there might be a um, a video interview i posted with me interviewing him if not i need to go back to my hard drive and pull that out it's from 2015 the video interview yeah so we are heading up to the dog park, Pearl and I. Say hi, Pearl. Yeah, and then we are, I have to run home, take a shower and go to work. Uh, yeah, this iPhone 11 is a little bigger than I think, maybe slightly bigger than the, the Pixel that I was using before. But trying to think of what else is going on. We have Wendy Dio coming on the podcast. I would love to think that that's going to go up on Talking Metal Tuesdays. Every Tuesday, we attempt to post a new podcast. Uh, Emily interviewed Wendy again, like for her third or fourth time. Um, so I'm hoping I can get that up tomorrow. Although I got to go to work from 12 to 9 p.m. tonight. So we'll see. Uh, yeah, like I said, just struggling to keep my head above water here. I meant to bring my coffee and I left it at home. So we are driving up to the dog park, hanging out. I hope you guys have a great week. I hope to be back in touch with you soon. And big shout out to Frankie Benelli. What concerts are you guys going to? I'm going to see Last in Line uh, in a couple weeks. Going to see Ghost this Friday. That's, that's my thing. Uh, you know, I go to a lot of concerts. Emily and I go to a lot of concerts together. Uh, we don't go to the movies much. Like, I want to see The Joker, but it's only when you got a family, a job, two dogs. <laughs> There's only so much time you can you can do going to the movies. Uh, I used to love going to the movies before I had kids, but I have to admit, I, I honestly don't have the time. I don't know. I got to look into better time, time management because, like, I got all this stuff like I got hard drive fill of filled with uh Carmine like a four hour interview with Carmine and Peace that I want to start putting together into uh more packages. I did one on vanilla fudge. I feel like no one watched it. I spent like freaking weeks on it. It's on my Vimeo page because I couldn't post it here on YouTube. But yeah I gotta I gotta I gotta get better time management. You know? You gotta pick your poison. I just want to do it all. You know I think that's been Part of my problem, maybe it wasn't a problem, but through through life, that sometimes I just I just feel like uh, I got so many big ideas, but <laughs> just not the, the time or money to execute the ideas. So, anyways, thanks for uh, being being my therapist here, guys, and listening to me talk. Look at this dog, God. <laughs> 